I don't think Josie would like Hi, Josie. Rosangela, gosh, what a horrible night. Are you okay? I'm fine. Poor Claude, I had no idea what the show was doing to him. What do you mean? Well, he killed himself, didn't he? Oh, he grumbled a lot, but I thought deep down he liked the attention. Still, at least his work shall live on. You're keeping the gallery open? Of course. Everything here is completely sold out. Really? That painting behind you? Yesterday, I couldn't give it away. Today, I'm being offered 5000 for it. That's horrible. That's business, I'm afraid. I feel bad for Claude, but... Well, I have debts. I have investors to pay back. Lucky for you, he died. That's not fair. I've known Claude for years. I liked him a lot. He never felt his work would be seen by anybody, and now people believe his work has value. That's something, isn't it? If you think so. What will you do with the money? Well, a percentage of it will go to my investors. As for the rest, I don't know. I could sponsor another artist like Claude, or I could give it to charity. I need to think about it. Bye, Josie. Good luck with... well... Sure. Come in. Oh, hello. Again. What do you know about the Meltzer Foundation? Why, are you looking for a loan? <laughs> Maybe. You deal with them? They invested in our last film. Water Under the Bridge? That's the one. I assume they got their money back since the film was such a success. Not that it's any of your business, but yes, they did. Anything else you can tell me about the Meltzer? Any deal between Meltzer and Cubestar is private information. If you want to learn more about them, look them up. They're on the internet. Thanks for the chat. Sure. He's drinking from a coffee mug. It's got something written on it, but I can't see it from here. Hi. Mm-hmm. Rotten day to be out, huh? I've seen worse. Nice mug. Uh-huh. What's written on it? Mind your own business. Well, see you around. Uh-huh. An old guy drinking from a coffee mug. The mug has a company logo on it. It says Gold Tech? No idea what that is. It's a lighthouse. Don't know who it's for. It's not like any ships come through here. I read a book about this place years ago. Nobody uses this lighthouse anymore. It's just a historic monument. I'm ready if you are. Hold your horses, will you? Hi. Mm-hmm. Are you Marty Goldwater? Yeah, who are you? Rosangela Blackwell. What do you want? Your son. I heard what happened. You knew my boy? No, but I'm looking into it. You with the police? No, but I'm sort of... freelance. Well, you can't do any worse than those worthless cops have, so sure, be whatever you want. 
How exactly was he killed? The newspaper didn't say. His neck was crushed. They said he was choked. But there were no bruises on his neck. I never heard of anything like it. Crushed? Yeah. Do you have any theories of your own? Of course I do. It was his rival company that did it. Lazarus Technology. They did it, but I can't prove it. Anything else you can... It was my son. He had his head in the clouds, but his feet were firmly planted on the ground. He wanted to change the world, and by God, he would have done it. Well, I'll be joining him soon, I'm sure. Why do you think this other company is involved? Look, my boy was a genius. He ran a medical technology firm not far from here as one of their chief researchers. He was making a device that can improve the efficiency of pacemakers. A real breakthrough, he said. But this other firm, Lazarus, was working on the same thing. It was a real race to see who'd finish it first. He didn't eat. He hardly slept. He poured his life into his work. Then one night he called me to say he had finished. He wanted to celebrate. That was the last time I talked to him. He was killed that night? Yes, and a few days later the device was registered by Lazarus. No justice. None at all. Well, see- Uh-huh. Here we go, Lazarus Technology. Thank you for calling Lazarus Technologies. Please choose from the following options. For general information about Lazarus Technologies, press 1. To inquire about our products, press 2. To speak to an operator, press 3. Lazarus Technologies is the world's leader in biomedical and biomechanical engineering. We supply research and development to hospitals and clinics throughout the world. Lazarus Technologies is supported by a generous grant from the Meltzer Foundation. If you would like to request a product catalogue, please speak to a customer representative. Let's go. Hold your horses, will ya? Yes? Hi, me again. Go right in. I heard you were at the gallery last night. Yes. And, and you saw what happened? Yes. Wow. Just wow. What would possess a guy to do a thing like that, huh? I don't know. Well, enough doom and gloom. What can I help you with? Monique told me that you invested in Cube Star Films. Monique, oh, oh yes, uh, she's the executive producer, isn't she? Yes. She's doing a great job. That place is earning money hand over fist. Monique told me that you invest. Monique. Yes. She's doing. I heard that your foundation gave money to Lazarus Technologies. Oh yes, that was one of our first success stories. Cubestar films became successful after Frank Lyons died. Did they? I suppose they did. That benefits you too, doesn't it? Oh, I see where this is going. What do you expect us to do? Give back the money? We're a private foundation. Money has to come in in order for money to go out. It looks like the Park Gallery is going to be successful now. Yes, Josie certainly has had her work cut out for her. So do you. Her profits are your profits. Yes, there is that. And all it cost was one man's death. Now that's unfair. Two men dead? That doesn't sound fishy to you. Should it? What kind of men do you take us for? I have sympathy for Frank Lyons, but he died of natural causes. As for the artist, he was obviously unstable. You'll need more evidence than that if you want to convince me of anything. I learned something interesting about Lazarus Technologies. It rose to success on the shoulders of a murdered man. That's a strong thing to say. It's true. His company was an inch away from beating Lazarus, but then he was killed. 
Even if this is true. It is true. You can look it up. Even still, I don't see how this is our fault. Let me break it down for you, Paul. Frank Lyons dies, and Cube Star Films become successful overnight. Claude Erden commits suicide, and now the Park Gallery is selling priceless works of art. John Goldwater dies, and Lazarus Technologies becomes rich and powerful. All these companies are represented by you. Don't you see how this looks? This is a total coincidence. I'm sure of it. Is it? It is. And I'll tell you another thing. I don't like these accusations. I think you should leave. I am going to get to the bottom of this. Maybe you will, but it has nothing to do with us. Now go, before I call the police. Come on, let's blow and let him stew for a while. Yeesh. She's crazy. Crazy with teeth. You gotta watch out for women like that, Scooter. Scooter? You haven't called me that since we were kids. Really? Maybe I should start calling you that again. Whatever. Charles doesn't get a lot of emails, it seems. There's just a bunch of names in his inbox. Frank Lyons, John Goldwater, Claude Erden. Joey, look at this. It's like a hit list of everyone who was killed by the Countess. So Charlie was writing about each of the victims. I knew there was something fishy about that place. Come on, let's go back there and talk to him. What on earth do we say? Think of something, kid. History is repeating itself, and I don't... What was that? It looks like his inbox is being updated. My name. That's my name. That son of a... Mess with us, Willie. He just marked me. I'm next. Look, don't worry. She might not come right away. We have time to plan. You. You killed Claude. And the others. I did not kill. I healed them. Can it. We've heard this song before. Just back away, real slow-like. I only want to help. I think we've had about enough of your help, lady. Back off, kid. I'm ready this time. I have to help her. Just let me help her. Oh, yeah? Help yourself to this. Where is she? She isn't far. I can sense her. You think I'm telling you? Where? Well, I know for sure she's not through that door behind you. No place to go. I can't run away unless Joey comes with me and Joey's the only thing holding her back. Come on, Rosa. Auntie did it 30 years ago, so can you. <sighs> I wish you were here, Auntie. I really do. That's far enough, sister. Joey, leave it. Leave it? Like hell. Hey, look at this. Who? That? I wanted to help her. And look where it got you. You think anyone appreciates your help? No. No! How... How did we end up here? I have brought you here. You are safe now. I have saved you. Saved me? What do you mean, saved me? What did you do? Joey, did she kill me? Am I dead? 
I... I don't know. Lady, I suggest you start talking. There is nothing to say. You are safe now, both of you. My dear, you carry on so. You. It's you. I've been looking for you for so long. Why did you leave me? My poor host, you cast me out. You broke our bond. It's too late to repair it. What? No, why would I do that? Your mind is so broken that you do not remember. My, my, you are a mess. You don't even know your own name, Countess, indeed. Regardless, it is time for this to end. End? Is there an end? For you, there can be, if you let me. I trust you, Madeline. I always will trust you. Rosangela Blackwell, Joseph Malone, it is a pleasure to finally meet you. I'm sorry it had to be under such unpleasant circumstances. Unpleasant is right. Who are you? My name is Madeline, and a long time ago, I was this poor soul's spirit guide. She corrupted our bond, and I'm afraid the damage to both of us was quite severe. Can you help us? Can you help us end this cycle of death? Who are you? As I said, my name is Madeline, and a long time ago, I was a spirit guide to the woman you know as the Countess. We were bonded, much like you and your guide are. But much has changed, and time is short. Will you help us? I know you. I have been trying to reach you in your dreams. At long last, I am able to manifest myself here. But time is short. Will you help us? Yes, I'll help you. I don't have much choice. She's killed me. Killed you? No! She left you quite unharmed. But regardless, there is no time to waste. Come with me. Now just relax. Hey, what's the big idea? All right, you. Talk. Where are they? The pattern. They're going to fix the pattern. Talk sense, will ya? The source. Cut off the source and the pattern will revert. Why do I bother? Great. Trapped on another plane of existence with the Countess of Crazyville. They better know what they're doing. 